Hi guys, it's Laura. Um, I wanted to share this project with you today. It's a, a project I did for Sherry's summer subscriber giveaway and she is um, T-S-H-E-R-N-J Pan um, on YouTube. And she um, wanted um, to do a giveaway and you had to make um, something Japanese with what you had. And um, I'm not going to lie, this was really challenging for me. I tried to print out um, using my circuit, or Cricut, um, an image of a lady wearing a kimono, but it was a complete failure. Um, it came out way too detailed and the pieces were so incredibly tiny that uh, it probably took me 45 minutes to scrape it off and it was completely ruined. Um, and so I gave up for a couple days and then when I was going through my stuff I found these cherry blossom stickers that I had and so I decided to try again and so I made a tag um, and I used this paper that I just got because it looks like there's lotuses in the background um, and then I put these um, cherry blossom branches stickers on here. Um, I think they're Jolie stickers. Um, if they're not, I'll put a correction in the box below. And then I um, cut out the this pink cardstock and then layered another piece of the same paper on top to create a little photo mat or a journaling spot. Um, and then I added some of the Studio G glitter glues in a couple of places, like right here and here on the cards, um, because part of the challenge was to use something glimmer, glimmery, shimmery, um, but no Mr. Hueys. I don't have Mr. Hueys, so. Um, and the stickers do have, I don't know if you can tell, right there, they are glittery themselves. So I didn't do that, they came like that. And I didn't know if that counted, so just in case, um, I couldn't get under the sticker right here. I added a little bit of, um, glitter glue that matched the color of some of the paper in the background. And then I put, um, ooh, I don't know what you call these, but I used this, um, clamp thing that I have that you use to insert these. And then I decided to add the pattern paper, the leftover, onto the back because I didn't want to throw it away. Um, Except I put that on afterwards, and I don't really know how to make a good hole there. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. So that's a, a better view of what the paper looks like. Um, so this is my challenge. Um, if you, sorry, if you want to enter, um, go check out her channel, the book down below. Um, I'll leave a link, and you can try. To do something Japanese as well, but I think you only have one more day to enter. Um, oh, and the other thing I wanted to tell you is that um, this tag was actually recycled underneath. I um, used the packaging for my ATG gun that I just got a couple days ago, um, and I had a big tag like this already that I used in the last project or the last tag that I made, and um, I had a couple of those, and so I used one of them as a template to trace, and then I cut out my own tags, so that way I'm recycling, but I have unlimited tags now, because you can use cereal boxes or um, any of the packaging or the backing on all the, um, the stuff we buy to do things like this, so you don't really have to buy tags, you can recycle. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.